Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another brand new episode of the Collider Games podcast. My name is Dennis Zinn. I'm in studio with Joshua Vez. And joining us for the first time, we have Marina Ryman. And Hi. Marina, you're a big gamer as well. Oh, goodness, yes. Gamer, cosplayer. Um, oh, nice. Really into all of that nerd stuff. Nice, nice. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about today uh, as we're wrapping. I think this is a, our last episode for the year? 2019. Yeah, because oh, wow. yeah. just made yeah. it. No, well, I guess yeah, it's Christmas next week. So. Yeah, Christmas is break where the studio is closed. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. This this town becomes a ghost town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. I mean, yes. We drove here all the way from Bur- uh, from uh, Bakersfield, and we got here faster than than I think we've gotten here all yeah, year. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, even right now, there's so much traffic. Like there was traffic for me getting here because everyone's that's, leaving for the holiday. Yeah. That's why I'm not leaving yeah. for the holidays until Sunday. Smart choice. I'm yeah. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. And, and actually, I'm coming back for Christmas. Is I'm just going away for a couple days. Mm. So, uh, anyways, um, the first story up, we've got is Fallen Order, a sequel, already in the works. So me and Josh and Doreen just did a spoiler review review for Jedi Fallen Order. So, Maria, I actually don't know, one, have you played the game, have you finished the game, and what you thought of it? I am currently streaming that game. Um, okay. I just played it earlier this week. I love it. I absolutely mm-hmm. love it for many different reasons. Mm-hmm. I love the gameplay, the puzzles, being able to incorporate the force to solve these puzzles and, and maneuver through the game, and then also the PTSD element of it, where mm-hmm. he has these flashbacks. It's a go- good way of learning the things as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Good story element. Yeah. So I'm, I'd love to see another. I'd love to see a yeah. sequel. How far are you? I'm halfway. halfway I, I'm on Kashyyyk. I'm looking for Tarful. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, the Wookiee. <laughs> got to drive so. an ad at, lost my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so oh, the, right there. Yeah, that's that is actually a very exciting point in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think that whole uh, world actually opens up more for you now. There's a lot yes. more places for you to explore on that planet. Yeah. So, what happened was that there was a report by uh, PC Games End that there's a listing for a senior software engineer position on the Star Wars team. Respawn is looking for someone who's passionate about the Star Wars universe who is invigorated by the idea of coding third-person action-adventure games. What could that be? I wonder. (laughs) They're also looking, I believe, for character developers as well. Or, yeah, yeah, graphic artists. Yeah, so they're not saying... No one has said this is Jedi Fallen Order. It's just everyone assumes it's from the (laughs) the company that developed Jedi Fallen Order. You have to have a passion for for Star Wars. For Star Wars license, and it's a third-person extra adventure. So unless they are doing a brand-new game... (laughs) <laughs> that's not Fallen Order for some reason. Um, yeah, it's it sounds like that's what they're gonna do. I mean, it's a it's a no brainer, right? Yeah. It's, it not only did it um, do well with the critics and but the fans loved it and it sold. A lot I mean, of- in terms of sequel, I'm trying to, to like talk about this without any spoilers yeah, yeah. for you. Um, in terms of the uh, the sequel, I guess it also makes sense to you because you didn't really kill all the nine sisters. Yeah, if you think but, so, but I, so there's got to be a couple out there, right? Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, when watching something like Clone Wars uh, and uh, Rebels, who killed which? Like, I can't remember. Who killed who? Because the Inquisitors okay, yeah. are a big part of those series. Mm. I just don't remember who killed who, you know? Makes sense, yeah. So I don't know how many. And also, you know, maybe they're going to deviate from the Inquisitor yeah. storyline. I mean, it's. I think it'll definitely be like it's going to be a sequel within its own rights, mm-hmm. and without giving any spoilers, there's a character that joins your party towards the end mm-hmm. that me and Dennis spoke about earlier, and that character has uh, has a whole life, really, a whole like so much that they can add in terms of a sequel. So mm-hmm. that'd be interesting, yeah. So having played the game and beaten it, I'm assuming both of yeah. you, would you want? How would you think about an anthology? That's what what yeah, we, we want. Did, we want a trilogy. Yeah, yeah. That would be no, no, I'd, no, I'd love no. to see that. You, you're talking about anthology. You're talking about a trilogy, different right. thing. Oh, you know, yeah, I'd I, like the different stories. See, well, trilogy I, I want, too. I want a trilogy for Cal Kestis, and then I told Dennis I want another trilogy set between episodes six and seven, because this is between episode three and four. Yeah. So I'd like to see another uh, one between episode six and seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're gonna do at least one more with Cal Kestis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if they'll do the whole trilogy. We'll see, but I think there's at least story enough for one more with him. Definitely, yeah. Uh, and then maybe they'll move on to, they'll do Jedi Fallen Order colon 
blah blah blah, you know, whatever it is. And then that will be maybe new characters, a new story, or, or yeah. whatnot. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they are hiring for new character development, so there's yeah. definitely going to be a lot of new characters. Level design, too, yeah. they were saying. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So maybe some new mechanics. Yeah, we'll senior character artist and level designer. So yeah. that's... I mean, considering how well-received the game was, they'd be stupid not to make another one right away. They won me back over. I was not a fan of the new universe I was not, expansion. Yeah. And Tom and I were sitting like... <laughs> you're, talking like, you're talking about like Battlefront and whatnot. Yep. And so when I saw this game, I was just like, oh, maybe, maybe I was yeah. wrong. I will say they did fix Battlefront two after a year. Like as in terms of a game, mm -hmm. it's actually a pretty good game. But then again, it's like it's so almost late down the line now that it's like. I, don't, I have a lot of people who are telling me to get on that game because they've polished it and they've really made it mm. a phenomenal game now. But like, what, like, are, you are you talking about the online Battlefront, play? Battlefront, Battlefront no, 2. No, I know, but are you talking about the online the play? Online the online game, Because yeah. I only played the single-player game for Battlefront yeah. 2, and I enjoyed it. It's not, it's not as good as Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I know that they've polished off the uh, the multiplayer in general. Like yeah. it's, it's a lot more s smoother, new gameplay elements. Mm. Pe people are liking it, so mm. that's a good thing. But no, I agree. I, I think since story-wise, since the Force, Un the Force Unleashed series, I haven't liked the Star Wars game. Yeah. Besides Knights of the Old Republic, which uh, Dennis yeah, is a big yeah. fan of, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't play that one. I'm not too uh, very good. Oh, you oh. can get it like uh, like your iPad or your mm. Google tablet. I think it's like ten bucks on the iPhone store Ooh, or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't easy. know if you have a tablet, but it's like perfect for the tablet yeah. because it it's actually not real time combat. It's it's turn based. Oh, I love that. Mm. So, but they they mimic the real time combat because you can move your character around. He just can't. Attack oh, anything. The closest thing I can relate it to is Final Fantasy XII. I was just thinking played. that. Yeah. It's very similar to Final. The combat's okay. very similar, yeah. And it's perfect for you know uh, the tablet size because you yeah. just and there's dialogue choices. And there's and literally no because I have it on PC and I have it on uh, my phone and there's no difference really. Well, that's so it's, nice. it's a good jumping because point, it's yeah. a, it was on the original Xbox. Yeah. So the graphics are now the graphics are pretty anything. much yeah. the same now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for a mobile device. Um, so yeah, I, I think. It's good news. Makes sense. We're definitely going to see it. I wonder when we're going to see it. You know, right think, now we just got this I one. I think E3 will see a trailer. I reckon. I reckon. Really? I reckon. I reckon. I reckon we'll see it. Dude, they're going to keep the ball rolling, Dennis. They I have to. So. I, I mean, I guess they do have the hype of like the Mandalorian and like they, they're I, probably going to do more. And they've got the Obi Wan series coming out, so they'll have the ball rolling in terms maybe of maybe. I think but. next year. Not next year, sorry. The year after. Is we'll so I, I think 2021 we'll see a trailer. I think we'll see a hype trailer in, at E3 and then we won't see the game for like two years. <sighs> That's what I think. To <laughs> me, I'd say, I'd say rather not. I'd rather not. <laughs> yes. You know yeah, what I mean? I, well, totally I mean, I hate it when game companies do that, when it's like they show you the game and then you get the game four years later it's and it's cruel. like... <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if, if so they're savage. actually developing, there's something there, but not mm. if like they do like big thing where it reveals and it's just Jedi fall in order. I was going to say like two, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the, the Elder Scrolls six, when they just showed you the hills and they said <laughs> the Elder Scrolls six. And yeah. everyone's like, ah, yeah. Like I, we know it's coming. I don't yeah. need to see a teaser. They just review. So I mean, they'll probably, the they'll probably tease it though. No, to me, I mean, even, okay. Cinematic, Teaser trailers are cool too, but really what you want to see is gameplay. Exactly. Because right? yeah. anyone I, can make, not anyone, but it's easier to make really cool cinematics. And we've, and we've seen time and time again how, how game development studios push out these like heavy CGI like hype trailers yeah, and yeah. then release the game years later and it looks nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah. A good example is Final Fantasy XV when they first showed us the first trailer for mm -hmm. that. 10 years before the game came out. It's, uh, I mean, the characters look the same, but the, everything's different. Like, yeah. the entire, like, atmosphere, the style, yeah. Well, even there was complaints about Anthem, and mm. and that wasn't even C, uh, CG cinematics. It was the yeah. actual gameplay. They, they showed it, and then when the game finally came, they had to, you know, well, downgrade like, the graphics. Like I told you, the, and this was the, the, the fiasco around that, that gameplay trailer we saw for Anthem at E3 that got all that hype, that was literally what they showed to the to the big cheese to, yes. to the big wigs. They were like, "Look, this is basically what we can create." The, and then the big wigs were like, "Oh, so this is what we have right now?" They're like, "No, no, 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 no. We can make this." Yeah, and, yeah. and then they were like, "No, no, no. You, you're showing us a working demo." They're like, "No, no, 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 no." And then yeah, what they spent, I think, six months making a game and then yes. pumped it out and pff, or eight months or something, that's which is crazy gotta, for game. I mean, that's the thing is people should learn, and whether it's movies, television, video games. Can't. I think that I think that the big companies should learn nowadays to, because they put they put it's these better to delay something exactly they We're put these intense deads yes. yeah they put these intense deadlines onto the people and they have to because I get I get it they have to show something within a certain amount of time to get more funds to get more funding yeah. for their game, but it's like you kind of shoot yourself in the foot by doing that sometimes where it's like 
Because then it's you're kind of lying where it's like you're telling the, yeah. your, the, the people financing us, they're like, look at what we got. And it's like, no, you don't have that. <laughs> you just want to make them happy to get more money so that you can make that, which is cool. But then you put yourself in a position where. Well, I mean, that's what's cool yeah. about something like Rockstar where they work, worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 for mm. so many oh. years. And then it got delayed a whole year. Guess what? It was worth it. Yes. So worth it, man. Such yeah. a great so, game. Yeah. Yeah. No one can complain. For me, it's not my type of game. Oh. It's so slow, but playing it, it's a mess. Like you can't, not, you can't not play the game and say it's not a masterpiece. Yeah. It's a fuck. Delightful. It's a masterpiece. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. Next topic we got. It's video game related. It's uh, <laughs> The Witcher. It's it's mm. it's out now. Finally on Netflix. I have not seen it yet. I've seen uh, clips and trailers. It's it's weird. Uh, if you I can't wait, man. if you yeah. look on the, I don't know if it's changed, but when I first looked the, on Rotten Tomatoes. It had the equivalent to um, Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker, where the critics it was like lower, like sixty percent and but lower. But then the fan but reviews the fan, came but in. But the like... the audience review was like eighty something percent. Yeah. So we actually know what we're talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah. I'm so a, I'm excited. <laughs> Marie, have you not seen it? No. But am but I the only one? You are the only oh. one. So <gasps> I mean, how, I'm, I'm how a is huge it? Fan though, yeah. And how much did you watch of it? Oh God. Well, um, I got to watch the first episode, okay. and I loved it. I give it two thumbs up, thousand percent. I'm a huge Witcher fan. I read the books. He's the perfect the Geralt, game. right? Perfect. And perfect I wasn't Geralt, expecting yeah. it because Geralt's kind of a hatchet-faced mm -hmm. gentleman, mm -hmm. and Henry Cavill's so pretty. But uh, <laughs> does he pull off the level of emotionless <laughs> that 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 Witchers are supposed to have? I have never seen a man say the, the make the or sound stoic. I believe make yeah. the sound <laughs> in more, <laughs> yes! more versatile and judicious ways. Like he is so he he's very understated. He has very few spoken lines. Yeah, but he walks exactly like video game Geralt. Okay. Oh, that's good. And it's perfect. Even from from behind, you can't tell the difference. And uh, he, what? And how about Roach? Do we get to see Roach? Oh, I do when he talks to him. He's it's, they're <sighs> friends. Bless. And, oh, it's Bless. it's wonderful. And the opening scene to me is perfect. It's an elegant demonstration of what a Witcher is. And uh, can I spoil just that opening speech? Opening scene. I mean, I, I, sure. I, I, I read. I did read the first book, so oh, like, I, I shouldn't like. I mean, I, I believe that it's coinciding with the books, right? It like, yeah, it's I like should, based on yeah. the books, not I the. Say, I, I not should. The game. I should already know then. Yeah. The first. The first episode is based on a short story in the uh, the end the compilation, um, the Last Wish, and the story is the Lesser Evil. Do you remember that one? I mean, vague, pro pro vaguely. I read these Renfrey? books years ago, yeah. Uh, she, remember, it's a sort of a Snow White story where Renfri is a princess who is mutated by this eclipse and is sent out into the world with a, with a huntsman who... I would say this is a very classic her. Witcher tale, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so It's a very classic Eastern Witcher, Witcher tale, yeah. And yes, and he has to choose between her, you know, saving her or, 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 or do... Basically, she has this nemesis who is a wizard who ruined her life, and he asks her to hunt Renfri down and Renfri's like no kill Stregobor and he has to choose the lesser evil who's who's telling the truth yeah. etc and I think it's wonderful but the uh the opening sequence is he pops out of a you're in, a, you're in this very great twisty dark Polish looking swamp and out pops Geralt and this horrible huge crab spider monster oh fantastic so it's, it's, it starts you right off that's nice yep. And there just, we go. As in with the books and the video games, it'll give you a monster and be like, "What the hell is that?" But uh, he kills it, and uh, we see. Do we see any Witcher abilities in this first episode? Oh yes, we see Does two he, signs. Does he cast Igni or anything? He casts Axie and Ard. Oh, I, I can see him using Axie a lot in this series. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I mean, I guess Ard would be the easiest CGI to render. Yeah. Ard would be the easiest to render for CGI because it's just wind. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then I, my other question, without having seen it, is obviously having played the games and, and read the first book. There, a lot of nudity, a lot of sex scenes. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to assume the series is going to have that too. It is interesting that you bring that up because as a woman um, reading the books and playing the games, I always felt the misogynistic overtones pretty acutely. Yeah. In fact, I was very uncomfortable playing the game unless I was streaming it, you know, safety and numbers and all I that. Mean, they're, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm currently playing the game again right now for the, the hype of this, and there's there's a, I think the first time you meet um, one of the old attendants from the second game, and she's just like naked, and, and he's like, are you going to greet me? She's like, I gave you a show as, as a greeting, didn't I? And I was like, that's so misogynistic. Yeah. I was like, that's oh, so bad. It's real bad. And But in this case, you can tell what happens when you have a woman in the writer's room because the show is completely different. I don't feel that sense of aggression mm -hmm. and nastiness. And there is a moment where you will feel like you're in the games because Stregobor's tower is filled with these comely 
buxom, very naked women. And, oh, uh, and then very, like, yeah. oh, there we are, Witcher 3. It's the Witcher 3, yeah. <laughs> Almost like the opening cutscene. Yeah. Um, no, that's that's really cool. I, or, like, I, I, I'm I looking forward to watching it. I'm, I'm hoping that they do some... I mean, it's not necessary, but it would be nice to have a little Easter egg of a shot of a third person shot. I'd love to oh. see just one shot of like of uh, of Henry Cavill walking down as third person. That would be just so nice. But, you will um, be very happy when you watch this first episode. Okay, I'm excited just I'm not, to. I'm, yeah, there's also the sword play is probably my favorite thing about. Yeah, the people are raving about that, oh. saying it was like some of the best stuff they've seen. Absolutely. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. I'm glad. I, and yeah, I, I think we spoke about this a week or two ago. They spent a lot of money on the set, so it also makes sense. They're going to, before they even announced the second season, it made sense to me because you spend so much money on a set, you're, you're going to want to get your money's worth and, you know, use it as much as you can. So yeah, that's going to, it's going to be good news. We're going to get uh, a lot more good stuff out of this. Yeah, absolutely. So, and so yeah. Actually, speaking of this, it reminded me right now, we're, we're also getting a Final Fantasy fourteen TV series. Thanks to Amazon. Yes. Remember yes. we spoke about that earlier this year? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, that's going to be exciting We have too. a Resident Evil TV series come from Netflix. What? That's, yeah, that's, that's going to be cool. A lot, lot of video game I mean, uh, TV series. Halo on yeah. Showtime oh, man. as well. Oh, that's I love cool, the yeah. Halo books, I'll confess. <laughs> No, no, that's uh, so. That's gonna be a big, uh, gonna be a big year. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's well received. That's the biggest thing that I'm getting back from this. It's very, everyone loves it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very well, especially the people who saw the, uh, the first two or three episodes that they gave out for the reviewers and stuff. Yeah. Every, everyone, yeah. great feedback. Everyone loved it. Well, now you can watch them all. I think that's what, I, that's what I'm gonna do. How many episodes so is it? Eight. Eight. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was gonna say it's either a good eight or ten. Yeah. Good They're number. only about an hour long, which is a very good length mm-hmm. for for each contained adventure. Um, and it was like that in the books. They're all very well self-contained. Mm-hmm. So and, it's more episodic yeah. than serialized, or both? Um, I would say, you know what? I would have to watch the other okay. episodes to really con- to, to answer that properly. I mean, if they go the episodic route, they can pump out a lot more in, in terms of longevity. Because Mandalorian is both, but lately, it, it, I mean, it's mo- it's like almost episodic with a tiny mm-hmm. bit of serialized storytelling. Um, w- but uh, I mean, uh, if the last episode is any indication, I'm talking about Mandalorian. Then it seems like now maybe they're going into the serialized. Uh, yeah, they're, and yeah, to, to, to clarify, they're starting us off fresh from the beginning, right? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. You don't have to know anything about the series fantastic, whatsoever. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I so yeah. you get to, you, everyone gets to experience Yennefer and Triss for the first time. Yes. That's gonna be fun. Oh, it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so <laughs> that yeah. love triangle, are great. So we'll be talking more about The Witcher uh, in future episodes. Uh, next one we've got up is. Dino Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Capcom they filed trademarks for several properties: uh, Mega Man, Dark Stalkers, Breath of Fire. I don't know how the the patent office works and trademarks works, where they have to constantly uh, renew these things. I well, don't for, know. for for digital licensing rights, it yeah. makes sense to me. Uh, I mean, the reason we're talking about Dino Crisis now is because m- the other ones that they trademarked again. Well, you knew, right? Uh, like yeah. Mega Man. Well, the, uh, it's not only that, but it's like there were recent enough versions of yes. them. Like they're still making money yes. off of Mega Man 10, for instance, yeah. on the like on the PSN and Xbox, and still making those money. So it makes sense to continue the patent for that. Dino Crisis raises a lot of eyebrows because yeah, it's like for a while. since the year 2000, <laughs> it's been 19 years. So it's like, why would they file a patent for a game that you can't really buy? So they have they have to be thinking of com- uh, doing a remake. Has to be a remake, man. Will there be a sequel or a remake? I think if they're smart, they'll do uh, a, a remake, remake first, and then see the hype around. Because I. I, I, it's one of those games where I only played Dino Crisis a lot older in my life. Like I wish I played it the year it came oh, out yeah. and experienced that. Mm-hmm. So I experienced it playing on an emulator. I had to play the game on an emulator. It's the only way to really play it now if you wanted to play it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I enjoyed it, but I, I, I didn't get to have that opportunity of playing it when it came out as is. So I, if I can have that opportunity yeah. with newer graphics. Yeah, the graphics are dated. Like, like for instance, <laughs> like a lot of people haven't played Knights of the Old Republic, but like you said, if yeah. they had to recreate Knights of the oh, Old Republic yeah. and just make the make, take out the turn-based combat and make it live like Jedi Fallen Order, that would it would be so amazing to experience that story again. That's why I'm excited for Final, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I never got to finish oh, Final yeah. Fantasy VII because it's such a long game, mm-hmm. and unless you were like playing it at that time, it, it's it's a bit arduous. If you were playing it nowadays, and it's it, it might not hold up as well. You can get it on your cell phone, by the way, as well. I've never so, played it. I started with eight, so I'm very excited. Eight's where about I started this. as well. Yeah. Funny enough, yeah, you can play seven on your phone right now. I think for fifteen bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but yes, it's going to be a great jumping off point for people to get to that story again, you know? So Because it's the best one, right? I mm. mean, that's what I've heard. I haven't played I, it. In but. terms of, like, it'll break your heart, and yeah, it is it is the best one. It has a lot of twists and turns. They try to recreate it with 15. It had a similar route in terms of story, but when, if you played 15, no spoilers, it's old now, but when Luna dies, you're like, ah, oh, whatever. You only see her once, so you're like, my wife died, I don't care. Whereas, <laughs> like, in any other game, there's character development. You spend time with them, and you're like, holy crap, my wife died. Mm -hmm. But usually you're like, oh, it's this chick I met once that's dead, I don't care. <laughs> so it's going to be better. So I genuinely think it's going to be Dino Crisis Remake, and okay. I'm all that for makes, that. That I'm makes sense. all for that, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, with the success of Resident Evil 2 mm -hmm. Remake, it even got nominated for uh, Video Game of the yeah. Year. Yeah. Uh, they're doing uh, Resident Evil 3. And Dino Crisis is basically... Resident Evil yes, dinosaurs, yes. right? Yes, it was Resident Evil mixed <laughs> in Jurassic yeah. Park, right? So it's very, very Resident Evil one. And yeah, two, I right? mean the the gameplay mechanics are the same. The graphics was, you know, the engine I think was probably the same. That was a very similar. Now that you point that out, no, it's I like mean, shockingly yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, maybe with these updated graphics, they can get that IP or property yeah. up there where I think people would enjoy it. You yeah. know what I mean? People like Resident Evil. I don't see why they wouldn't like Resident Evil with dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. If this comes out, I'll never see my husband again. <laughs> oh, yeah, like Dino Crisis <laughs> glued yeah. to the screen. Um, next story. This is something we're following ongoing. Google Stadia has mm. acquired uh. Uh, Journey to the Savage Planet developers, uh, Typhoon Studios. Um, the game is still coming out. The, on yes, PlayStation, just like out of, Xbox, just like Outer so. Worlds, yeah. which was you know um, Obsidian that got bought by Microsoft. Yeah, you know they they bought them a year before it got released, but it was like they'd already done all the work and all the money had been invested. All, all, into, all the licensing rights were already sold at yeah, that point. Yeah, you know, so the digital ones. Of course, they were gonna still yeah. release it for all the platforms. I mean, so. Yeah, this is still going to come out on all the ones, but it's it's just interesting because now we're talking about Google Stadia one. I guess they, it'll they be on there for launch for free. You think? Do you think they'll do it like Xbox Game Pass, I don't or it's think like so. you don't? Th oh man, I don't think so. Maybe it's one of those. Remember, they're going to do like a kind of Xbox Gold type of situation mm -hmm. where it's like two free games a month type. Obviously, of thing like if you're they need they, they need that. Yeah, then they could add that in. Yeah, but. You know, they started a new first par party studio. Look, Google Stadia did not have a great launch. Mm -mm. People, you know, from yeah. a technology wise, and it was also almost as if people didn't have good enough internet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also, <laughs> we mentioned before, it. The question is why? Mm. Like, why? It's like if people, especially in this cycle, right? Everyone has a console, mm -hmm. so you're not really benefiting other than maybe being able to play in different areas but to now I'll say to answer your question I guess look at their commercials the the biggest selling point of the stadia is they have this commercial where a giant hand comes in and flicks the console off your corner and they're like look at all the space you're saving it's like and, and nobody like, really? cares uh, right you exactly you guys are going to netflix the gaming industry we do not want that like yeah. Come i on. mean it's it's yeah you said it, we've both spoken about yeah. this before it's like if you're going to have any kind of streaming platform I'm all for it, but you need to have a backup plan, man. People like like well, people, gotta, internet gotta services you are horrible. Be, you got to yeah. be like Gamer Pass. Exactly. Absolutely. But internet services are horrible. You need the backup plan. You need the hardware. Yeah. You need the hardware for when the internet's down or you didn't pay your bills or yeah. that, that, those well, things I mean, happen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know? That's why Microsoft... Just slow it down. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then Microsoft is doing the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, they're going to do a digital version of, so Xbox Series X, they'll have whatever... The digital, ver yeah, which they'll, they'll have the whatever the one that comes out the highest price point. It's usually like everything. eighty bucks less, which is yeah. a lot of money to save if you think about it. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. I'm looking. I was looking at the new just because of Xbox Game Pass. I was looking at the new Xbox, the digital Xbox One, and yeah. it, it's for like it's selling for like one 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 seventy or one eighty yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. Like they're cheap, yeah. They're cheap. It's wild. Yeah. So like, it's not, yeah, it's, it's and, good. And, and the space factor, I I just don't think it's that big of a deal. Mm. Because once you put a put your console somewhere, like you just forget about it. I mean, yeah. I uh, be, like in, the only time I see my console is when I have a disc that needs to go inside, yeah. and usually I'm all digital, so it's like very rare, you know. And at our house, we have two of everything because we have to be able to play simultaneously. Of course, yeah. So, there you and go. it's still not a problem. Yeah. Let's say, yeah, same. I got the one in my my room, and then was one in the living room for Jack, so we can play together. But yeah, so I feel like this is just another step in in gaming. Instead of the console wars, we're going into the streaming, the streaming wars, yeah. but it's the streaming wars for and video games. And, and also, this is another they're, they're thing. following suit. If you look at it, they're looking at all the other game studios, and they're just kind of... It, make, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, if they want to contend with these other gaming consoles, then they're going to have to start acquiring studios the same way Microsoft had to do it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, speaking of uh, Obsidian Outer Worlds, uh, DLC is coming out yeah. in 2020. Ooh. Have you played Outer Worlds yet? I it's on my list. I'm okay. very excited. Good. Are you are you a Fallout Skyrim yes, fan? Okay, big time. it's it's basically that with a <laughs> like a new. It the one thing I do like about it a lot is the UI is in hand, like. It's streamlined. Like oh, things are just nice. much easier and faster to do. It's uh, a lot more versus like those games. Uh, it's, it's, and it is more dialogue heavy in terms of like any kind of like Fallout or Sky or Elder Scrolls series. It's a lot more dialogue heavy. Like you, like it's impossible to not have a charisma character build. I love that because that's like, my favorite build. You're gonna spend almost all your points on charisma in this game, and it's so useful. You can talk your way out of anything. That's my favorite thing you to can, do in it's, Fallout. You can literally talk your way, or or you can lie your way out of anything. You can, like your persuasion, your lying, and your intimidation. If you have those stacked, you can do anything in the game. It's it's insane. Oh, I can't wait! I can't. And yeah, the, the characters are great. I, I like the like each like your companions have great character development, so that's cool as well. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, so they, you know, Outer Worlds, I think, was a good, big hit for them. I think mm. it did very well critically and financially. So they're, like, they put out a post thanking uh, fans. Of, yeah. And that uh, there will be a story DLC coming sometime in 2020. So Which is great. I think the game already has so much replayability. Like, mm. I've restarted the game four times just doing different builds, mm -hmm. selecting different options. Because, obviously, the story is not linear. So... There's like I think three different endings, so I've I've played the game multiple times, which okay. is nice. Yeah, that is wonderful. Is that something that you typically do with games, or when they're choice-heavy games like this? Yes, because yeah. I'm one of the people that have anxiety where I'm like, where I'll be up at even though it's a digital game, I'll be up at two o'clock in the morning going, should I have saved that child? Should I have killed it? I don't know. Should I have saved the dog instead? <laughs> I don't know. Like. I'm one of those people. Yeah. So I'll have, but luckily having two consoles, I'll have one account in my living room, which is like like the the good the good guy account in the, the account in my room where I'm like kill everybody. <laughs> That's where you keep oh. your secrets. Yeah. So you do it keep simultaneously. Oh. I, I mean, yeah. I don't really do it anymore. But when I did, it would be I finished it and then I would start yeah. the next. I one do, you're one. right. I do actually looking back, I never realized it before. Same with uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. I did them simultaneously, different decisions. Or like, a, uh, if you will, like there's different. Uh, the the story doesn't change much for Inquisition, but you can choose to do different things at different times and well, who you for align. For me, like with, Mass with. Effect, I did just one with the male shepherd mm. and one with the female shepherd. So yeah, oh, so. Man, Mass Effect, what a great series. Yeah. Oh my God! Speaking of the new, new potential Star Wars, wouldn't it be amazing if they went? We were just talking about that earlier. Wouldn't it be great <gasps> if they did an RPG? Yeah. Yes. Or an, an ARPG. That'd yeah. be fantastic. Yeah. Um, this one, I thought. This next one. <laughs> I thought was, I thought it was an Onion article. Oh yeah, Puma announces gamer yep. socks. I actually I actually saw this when it was announced. Come on, <laughs> come on, the man. The story makes me feel so old. Uh, active gaming footwear designed maximum comfort and style on ten hour raids or your fortieth battle ro royale loss. So I didn't even really read up about this. One but pair will run you eighty dollars, eighty pounds in the UK and one hundred sixty dollars in Australia. Uh, they think in the U.S. it's going to be 100. Like 105. I'm going to assume. I'm going to go ahead here and assume it's for blood circulation. I, uh, I don't care what it is. Because I, I do it get if you're matter. sitting down for eight hours at a time, I can understand that you're going to want to make sure that you have proper shoes on or proper socks on to have the circulation going. But no way am I paying that amount. No. It's just not necessary. Or, no, what you or can you know do what? for just circulation is a freaking paraffin bath. Or, or you can yeah, stand up. You can stand <laughs> up. <laughs> walk go around for a walk. every hour. Yes, you're supposed to do you that know? anyway. Sit down for eight hours. It's terrible for your health. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So the and I, but for comp I get the, I get it for competitions. Uh, you don't have a choice for competitions. You are gonna sit down there yeah, for yeah. eight hours straight. Like it's a lot of like um mob mobas. Like those are so oh, yeah. each like if you look at Dota and League of Legends like ga <laughs> like per game lasts about an hour per game and then you got to go through so many rounds and levels so a lot of those games can I can see that being but it's like what a niche small market maybe that's why they're making it so expensive as well is because the market's so small and it says for it. has comes with rubber grips on the bottom so you're not slipping and sliding at your desk which what? is who does that who, like have are you, you had that problem uh, no no <laughs> no Me either. I've oh. never once have played ever, games have, yeah. and go like. <laughs> oh, my feet have bad circulation. That's why I'm losing. Or you're, or you're like streaming on Twitch and you're sliding out of frame. Like, oh no, guys! Like yeah. a dog oh, no. trying look, to look, eat look, dinner I in the kitchen. Like, <laughs> like people wear like glasses, right, to reduce okay. whatever. I, I'm not gonna lie, I do use those. No, no, no but I, I can enjoy understand the gunners, that, yeah. right? I can understand that because there is. Yeah. 
visual fatigue and you from can, your and eyes. You, can feel, you do actually feel the difference right away, yeah, yeah. in my opinion. Now, yeah. I, I do have circulation disorder. It's mm-hmm. called Raynaud's phenomenon. Mm-hmm. It is in my feet as yeah. well as my hands. But uh, this is some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm not spending $180 on no. socks. I mean, it's I, supposed to have these four modes. Seek, attack, cruise, and defense. Yeah. If this isn't raising my KD ratio to, by like 25 or 30%, Get the heck out! What the f- what the frick frack, man? Yeah. Like I mean, you know they have gaming. They're talking about gaming glasses, gaming chairs. Look, gaming chairs. I could. I'm yeah. behind too because yeah. you need to be comfortable, right? I get yeah. that. Yeah. I just have never pay, and I I don't know if I ever know it, but I do my. I have poor circulation in my feet as well. They get super cold, but I've never once been like, man, this is oh, this is detracting sucks, me from you know. And you know people are gonna buy it, Dennis. Oh, they will. I'm they not gonna will. lie, because I I thought that like the gaming, Nine, but thought, ninety nine dollar or hundred dollars. That's I don't. I mean, I thought the gaming glasses were a hoax, and then uh, so I I bought one just because of the hype around it, like a lot of people did, and luckily it didn't turn out to be a hoax, at least because. But it I, makes I found sense the benefit, yeah. though. It there's does. eye fatigue. You also, know, there's you, visual. You have, it improves your accuracy for me because oh. because oh. they're the exact same glasses you would use at the at the shooting range. If you're, if okay. it, it's yeah. the exact same glasses, it improves. It just improves your. Um, I, I guess it ups the contrast between mm. things. Yeah. So it just it helps you out for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, now that see that I can but, get behind. But hundred dollars sucks. No, yeah. no. And and I played Dance Slumping. Dance Revolution on heavy for years in my oh holy my socks, and I was fine. So kids. No, <laughs> I, I I get brands wanting to do gaming wear, especially for the pros, but that's like sponsorship level. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't want. I'm not going to buy a gaming shirt. You want to know why? Because it's just a shirt. Yeah. Like it's like if you go and buy yourself like a football jersey, that's a football jersey. It's like a thing. You know what I mean? Like there's no. We don't have gaming jerseys. Yeah. You know? Like no. <laughs> why are we trying to like? I don't know. It sounds so silly. You know? I don't. I don't get that. Like if more companies are going to start coming out with gaming clothes, it's stupid. Like sponsor the gamers by all means. Yeah. Like, like pay the people to wear Adidas. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But don't like bring out like things don't make new things don't make bullshit no, no. <laughs> like, we, we, I would like to spend that money on games yeah exactly yeah <laughs> well I would say like for that price you're like you're a couple bucks away from getting that uh, the digital version of that Xbox I was talking yeah. about yeah well next week brought to you by Puma and, <laughs> right? and gaming socks <laughs> the, yeah this week of, and, and, and we'll be like talking about how, how much better where we're Collided playing. Games pro- Podcast brought yeah. to you by Puma yeah um, all right, let's talk about the end of the year. We got some deals going on here. I do mm. and I, there's one that really caught my eye. Okay, why don't you <laughs> let me know which one caught your eye? I mean, there's a bunch of like Nintendo, PS4, Xbox. Which yeah. one w- would you? Oh, this is going to come out of nowhere. But uh, for me, I'm going to make a case that the best deal I saw there was the Horizon Zero Dawn Complete mm. Edition. Great game, fantastic. Yep. Like if you have Dennis, if you haven't played it, no, I haven't. dude, oh. so good. Mm-hmm. You will, you will really, you will thoroughly enjoy the what game time, mechanics. What time? What time? Type of game. It's a, a, a third third person action RPG game. Okay. Absolutely. So it's very Unlike much your okay. Your main form of combat is bow is a bow and arrow, but it's like a technological bow and arrow. Okay. And it's like different. Your different arrows will have different effects on different things. So you'll have like, it's the gameplay gameplay mechanics are fantastic in this, and mm-hmm. the story is great because the story takes place I think like a thousand years from now, mm-hmm. and like humanity is basically cavemen, but. All the animals are robots, so you're like, "What's going on?" Yeah, and the story is phenomenal. I highly recommend it. Nice. Yeah, and the soundtrack's amazing, and the complete mm. edition, which comes with the DLC as the well. The DLC, yeah. Frozen mm-hmm. Wilds, one of the best DLC mm. I've ever seen. The digital, the art book, the theme, weapons and armor, and all of that, twelve dollars forty eight cents. That's, that's great. Yeah. I spent nice. eighty dollars on all of that. I bought, I I, ba- I backed the uh, the Frozen Wild yeah, before yeah. it came out. I was gonna say yeah, and if you bought everything, like I, I got everything full price as well, sixty bucks yeah. plus. I think it was 25 20. Yeah. or twenty bucks when it came out. Twenty, yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I paid the full price as well. It was fantastic. I would do it in a heartbeat again. I want so a sequel more than anything in the world. Me too. I really want a sequel. Like they made such a beautiful world, and that game did so well. The year it came it out, what did. was it? Was it 2016? I think so. I, I think, think the so. only the only thing that bad happened that year was The Witcher 3 came out, which is a good yep. thing. I'm just saying it's bad for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, phenomenal game. Play that game, Dennis. Uh, <laughs> I will check it out. I mean, I it's 12 recently bucks. played Titanfall 2 and I only paid like 8 bucks for it and it was fantastic. I finally Wonderful. I finally started playing Titanfall 2 because it, it was free on PlayStation this month. <laughs> it, it's awesome. I mean, yeah, now you see really where is. Apex Legends came Ex- from. Exactly. Basically. That's what I'm enjoying about it, yeah. Um, Nintendo Switch... Uh, plus a thirty dollar Amazon credit is two ninety nine. I don't get that deal. Yeah. I, I looked at that deal and I was like, just give me the thirty bucks off, man. Like if yeah. I'm buying it from you, Amazon, Amazon just give me the thirty Amazon bucks. Amazon does not mind giving you credit. They do not like giving you. But but your, you can't use back. that credit on the switch you're buying. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no. You use of it course not. <laughs> they want future purchases. Uh, yeah. 
Death Stranding, thirty five dollars. Mm-hmm. This game is going to be amazing in five years. Five years. <laughs> Probably when I'll pick uh, it up. I'll, I'll pick. I'll pick it up when it's on the next console and I have a four K TV. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's when I'll pick it up. Uh, the world will be built by these incredible, dedicated people. Whoever doing this right now, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I'll wait till that. I mean, I already played it, but I only got so far. I'll wait till someone paves the road so I yeah. can, so I don't have to like walk everywhere. I mean, on I've, the I've, I've, I've been because I know the story is amazing, so I've been avoiding YouTube because it's. I mean, honestly, if you, I guess, if you really wanted to, you could sit down and just watch the whole thing on YouTube because it's more of an experience, like we said, than a game. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I guess I do want to have that, like, tedious element. I want to have the accomplishment, wanna, yeah. you know, yeah. of having walked my fucking way through that game. I want that sense of accomplishment. I don't know if you're going to get it, though, because Tom was just struggling, just walking, and he was just getting saltier and saltier yeah. and saltier. It's a frustrating <laughs> game. The only reason as to why I think that I would enjoy it, because it's one of those games where I didn't like it the first time I tried it out, but I feel like I would enjoy it because there was a game that came out that did very well called um, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. And if you, you you stream, this was wild among streamers. It was one of the world's hardest games, and it was also very therapeutic. It's oh, I literally love that. it's it, it's one of the most difficult games I've ever played in my life. I've never finished it, but if you finish it, it's just you have this sense of accomplishment. And the name itself is getting over. There's like every time you mess up, it's like oh, like the guy will give you be like hey, like I know what it's like to mess up in life, you know, and like he'll give you like nice words. It's Aww. it. If you stream, play. Trust me, play. play okay. Get this game. Play. It's all, all you use is a mouse, and you will scream. Mm-hmm. You will rage within the first five minutes. Ooh. Like I kind of want. I actually want a let's play. Of, I want to see Dennis play this game. I want to see him lose his mind. Yeah, it's, I, it's I, on, you have to use a mouse though. It's on PC. I'm only. not one of those people that plays games to be like frustrated or to like <laughs> get some sort of sense of. I, I've gone into the phase of my life where it's like I want to have fun. I want a story. I want to have fun the gameplay mechanics mm-hmm. and all that stuff and so anything yeah. like where it's like it becomes tedious this was more popular among streamers yeah. for that reason because people yeah. like what people no, nobody wants to get frustrated but yeah, people like will, watching oh, people course. get yeah, frustrated so that's always very popular yeah. for that reason it's essentially a game where you're a man inside of a pot mm-hmm. full of water and all you have to move around is a hammer and you can you so you have to but it's and it's all physics based and you have to like kind of fling yourself and balance yourself and man it's 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 so it's a blast. Getting, oh, like yeah. literally getting literally, over. Literally oh, getting I love over it. it. Yeah. I you love literally it. have to get over things, yeah. and it's also about getting over the sense of rage that you feel oh. whenever you mess up. Because there's points in time where you can be hours into this game, you can miss a jump, and they'll throw you all the way back. And there's no oh. save points. There's no something. You gotta start. Oh, no. You gotta start all the way from the beginning. There's this one thing in the game that's called a snake, and like. You're just looking at it, and it's like you you don't have you don't you're not supposed to use it, but you're like, oh, I wonder what that does. And if you like put yourself on the snake, it's so slippery, you immediately slide all the way back down to the beginning, and you lose hours worth of progress. Oh no! And there's a compilation online of people just smashing their keyboards and <laughs> like like this. If you type in "getting over it snake" and on, you're gonna have a great time on YouTube. You see people losing their mind. Nice. Um, all right, some more deals we've got here. The PlayStation 4 Pro console, 320 bucks, which is 80 bucks off. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, got, not, that's actually pretty you good. You've got uh, Borderlands 3. <gasps> if you love for your 30, friends. 34.99. Great deal. Yep. Yeah. Get Day, this for them. Days Gone, 19.99. Oh, speak, sorry. We, we went past Google Stadia earlier. One of the things I wanted to bring up was I think they said that they're bringing out the Founder Edition, or there's like, mm-hmm. if you have the Founder Edition, they're, they're now allowing you to give your friend two months of Google Stadia. Okay. So you don't play alone, oh, which that's is kind of nice. cool. Yeah. So if you've got Google Stadia and nobody else is on it, I think you can give your friend two months or something so they mm-hmm. can play with you. Uh, oh, this is one I might pick up is Spider Man for nineteen. Yeah, that that's is a great, great deal. deal. Yeah, and that's that's a f- oh, fantastic game. game. One, yeah. of, it's it's a great. Uh, we've spoken. Of, I think Kabu said it as well in one of the podcasts. It's one of the best games where it's like they give you so much. None of it's DLC. They just gave you so much stuff after the game. They just gave you so much extra costumes and like it's it, w- it was good. All I love all the costumes in that game and it's swinging around Manhattan listening to music. It's best a very time relaxing life. game. When mm-hmm. I'm really anxious, I can mm-hmm. just jump in there, swing around and I feel better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I definitely. I still need to finish God I I just recently got a PS4. Like, oh, congratulations. Sure. Yeah, so I I I'm like an Xbox person and then I always like the PS3 I got I got late in its cycle and PS4 I got late in its cycle. But so, you're playing God of War 3 right now? I mean sorry, well, I mean the, the new God, God of, of War. War yeah. yeah. Uh, How do you like it? I mean, I like it. I haven't gotten very far. Oh, I think so, it's really so cool. Good, man, it's just, yeah. uh, and I do like the, one of the things that I didn't like about uh, PlayStation in general is I didn't like the controller, but I found the mm. PS4 controller much better yes. than yeah. the older ones. Like, it felt 
it's much more solid. It's easier to hold. Yeah, it doesn't mm-hmm. have that yeah. weird. I don't know. Your fingers flat. don't curl too much. Yeah. Too. yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I agree. That's what I've liked uh, a lot as well. Um, here we go. Outer Worlds, thirty-five bucks. Mm-hmm. Get that. Uh, g- there you go. It's on your list now. It you can is get on it. My list. Yeah, Nintendo Switch. We mentioned you can get uh, Overwatch for twenty four ninety nine on the Not Nintendo bad. Switch. Mm-hmm. Xbox One. You have uh, Xbox One X three hundred forty dollars. Um, and for anybody wondering why get Overwatch when Overwatch two coming out is because you can play them together. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you get, if you guys, I mean, I know you you know that does this, but yeah. if you didn't know that, I did not know that for people getting Overwatch two, you can still play with Overwatch one players. No way. Certain game modes, yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. So like, if like if your friends got Overwatch two, don't worry, you can still play with. You just can't play the story mode that they're adding in. Wow. And there's like other like co-op story mode elements that they're bringing in. So you won't be able to play those game modes, but the the standard like the Overwatch League, like you know, like the actual yeah. uh, the gameplay that that'll be like cross play. You can play with Overwatch one and Overwatch two. Yeah. Very cool. That's wonderful. Uh, and then for your Xbox Gold people like me, next month there's a few games: uh, Sticks, Shards of Darkness, Tekken Six, Woo! Lego Star Wars oh, Two, the original Tekken trilogy, yeah. one of and the favorites. one I'm looking forward to is Batman, Batman! the Telltale series because I never yeah, got that. Yeah, it's good. I only got I only played episode one, but it's good, Dennis. So like now it's for free. Well, if you have Xbox Gold, it's for free because I had bought this Telltale series. Um, Bundle package, mm. love them, and that was like with Game of Thrones. That was with uh, Fable. Wa- um, walk, the walk, no, uh, the, yeah, they yeah. Did, the Walking Dead one was good Walking too, Dead, and then they did a Bo- Among Borderlands Us, one, which Borderlands. was also really good. Those, those yeah. were all packaged together, so yeah. I have all those. But Batman was not packaged with that because that, so. that was like the most recent one that they yes. did, if you will. Yeah. So now I'm gonna be able to play. That, that. was good. I like the voice. The voice acting is great, and the and the the animation. Oh, uh, is is great too. It's like it's just it's an overall it's a good experience. The okay. Batman one though doesn't come out until January sixteenth, so it's not January first. It's okay. January sixteenth to not February. Too, not 15th. too bad, yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Um, now before we wrap up, there was a couple other news stories that uh, um, you had brought up. Ooh. And well, let me bring up in terms of game releases. Uh, not really much big games came out this week, but um, Untitled Goose Game came to consoles this week. Uh, oh, yes. fantastic! So I, f- I feel like we should at least bring that up and give it a little nod seeing yeah, as absolutely. it somehow got nominated for did it get nominated for Game of the Year it got nominated for something at Game Awards which is mm-hmm. crazy um, but yeah so Untitled Goose Game guys you can pick it up on consoles this week um, and then uh, Sony announced an attachment for the PS4 controller it's $30 and you basically attach it to your PS3 controller and it adds two extra programmable buttons mm-hmm. which is very handy for people that play a lot of first person shooter games and want to take uh, gaming a bit more seriously um the question is: Is it worth the thirty bucks extra? Mm. I mean, I guess it's better than with Xbox. They brought out the Xbox Elite controller, mm-hmm. which is like you have to go and buy the entire like <laughs> <Yeah>. Elite controller. <laughs> Whereas I guess with PlayStation, they're like we we just give you the expansion to the controller for th- instead of paying like eighty bucks or I don't know how much it is going to be for the how much the Elite is, but I mean con- controllers start at like sixty bucks, so mm-hmm. it's probably going to be like eighty, almost hundred bucks for the Elite controller. Or you can upgrade your PS3, your PS4 controller for like thirty bucks. Get the extra two programmable buttons. It looks nice too. Like it actually like, it doesn't look like a PS3 controller, but I mean, a PS4 controller, but it does look nice. Mm-hmm. And I think there's also an ex- an extra. I think there could be a third button. I could be wrong, but there seems to be like a touch button as well at the bottom. So uh, that'll be cool. And then uh, Apex Legends announced their. I think it's their their in, their international tournament uh, grand prize three million dollars, which was the same as the grand prize for the Fortnite World Championships, I believe. Nice. So they're trying to like stay on par there, which makes sense. I feel like that's going to start becoming the uh, for big games. That's going to be the uh, the go to cash prize is going to be about three million. Because mm. after what after after tax, that's what like two point two, wow. only two point two yeah. for playing. Yeah. Games. You know, for for a sixteen year old. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, shout out, yeah. Shout out! Shout out to Booga. Yeah. Hell yeah, Booga! I actually I watched that whole entire Fortnite game. That was amazing. He does. He deserved that three million dollars, Dennis. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He deserved that three million dollars. Um, uh, but yeah, that's about it for me uh, cool. for, uh, in terms of extra news. Yeah. Uh, a reminder to people, we launched our VR game, yeah. Twin Peaks VR, last Friday. We just Woo! got nominated for a uh, Dreamland XR Award, uh, nice. which Dang. takes place in January in Las Vegas. So if you guys want to do check out that. And then also, I'll, I'll, I think I'll, I'll give away one copy 
of Twin Peaks VR. All you Hell gotta yeah. just Sweet. tweet tweet at. I mean, it's gonna be random. I gotta pick a random uh, person, but just tweet out with the hashtag Twin Peaks VR uh, and tweet at me at Think Hero. And make sure and, you follow us because otherwise, yeah. otherwise we won't give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, because I gotta DM you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, exa- so, exactly. Yeah. So if you are interested in that, uh, I will pick a random winner out of the people who do that. Um, as you guys are g- we're closing out the year, what what was your favorite game before we wrap up? What was your favorite game to play of the year? Of the year, um, of the entire year, starting January first. The experience that I enjoyed the most, I'd say, was probably Jedi Knight: Full in Order. The game that I played the most was probably Jump Force, which is why I wanted it to win so badly Aww. at the fighting game. I wanted it to win so badly. Yeah. But I mean, um, if you had a game of the year, your own game of the year award. It would, for me, it would, yeah, it would, it would it would probably be Jedi Knight Full in Order. And it's not because it's the most recent game mm-hmm. I played. I'm really thinking hard about everything that came out this year. There's a lot of good games. That I loved, like I said, loved Outer Worlds, and it's probably a game that I'm going to replay a lot more than Jedi Knight Full in Order, mm-hmm. but I enjoy Jedi Knight Full in Order overall a lot more. I'm going to have to say the same, honestly. Oh, really? okay. I haven't played Out of Worlds, but um, Jedi Fallen Order absolutely wins for me as well, not simply because it's such a, a wonderful game, but mm. because it touched me on a personal level mm. because I also have PTSD. Mm. So to see Cal just like, oh, you know, going back to his, his past and still maintaining, it's mm-hmm. very inspiring to me. So I love it. Yeah, it was, you have any honorable good. mentions? Oh lord! What about what about you, Josh? I Arnold? mean, my honorable mention would be Jump Force because it's <laughs> okay. getting li- just just so you know, I'm so happy that I did get nominated because the re- because it's getting a second season of characters okay. now. It's getting a second season of DLC. And just Outer Worlds would be your nom- uh, honorable mention. That would be yeah. That'd be my second. That'd be my second. That'd be my runner up for Game of the Year. Okay. Oh, I never dear. played Sekiro. I never did get to play Sekiro though, so oh, okay. I don't know. And Sekiro okay. did look good. It does okay. look like my type of I game. I mean, for me, Outer Worlds is an honorable mention. Actually, did a Fallen Order is honorable mention. Control is my. I need to play that. Game of the year. It does look good. The DLC looks amazing, Dennis. Yeah, I downloaded. I haven't started playing Ooh. it yet, Let's but try that one Control too. is just it's it's fun. It's unique. It's not it's not a super long game, but, but the it looks game, fun. The gameplay mechanics are cool. Your yeah. character can. I just mean, been it, out for a looks, while, but you can fun, you, man, it, yeah. it has telekinesis powers. You can do. Things where you pull stuff to you, throw stuff at people, you can levitate, you can like do all these cool things, and it the world is just, I don't know. It, it, I, there was one level actually, one p- particular sequence that I will always remember. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it's towards the end of the game where I'm like, yeah, that's like what like what gaming is about, you know? Oh, so, I love that. That's good. So, yeah, Control is my game of the year. Yeah. No, I'm I'm more excited for January in terms of game releases, but we can talk about that when January gets here. <laughs> I'm very excited for Tekken Six. I'm just gonna say it. I'm very oh, yeah? excited. Yeah. Gone I'm, Ryu. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm excited for uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot coming out in January and uh, Final Fantasy VII in February. Oh God, yes. I mean, yeah. I'm excited for Half Life Alex in March, but I, a lot of people, especially here uh, with our uh, development team, they don't believe that it's actually gonna come out in March. I I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm on that same page where it's like. I see that. I believe that it's coming out next year. I yeah. just don't believe it's coming out. In March. I think maybe end of next year as well. And like, ha, like has has Valve officially uh, released the Valve Index to open to the public yet? Yeah, I mean they released it, it last only year. Developer? Okay. No, no, no. They released it last year. Oh, okay. It's sold out now after they made the Half Life Alex announcement. Oh wow. Okay. Um, Norm from Tested went to Valve Studios up in Washington and got to like he got a few hours we'll say, yeah. to play. Half Life Alex, and it looks fantastic. I watched his review on the Knuckles. Like, yeah, he, yeah, he did a good review on the Knuckles as well. But I just don't believe that it's going to be ready in March. No, I mean, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I believe Gabe Newell. I believe Gabin. Yeah. Pra- pra- praise Gabin, Gabe Newell. I believe he's sitting there just like laughing go- with maniacal laughter, going, <laughs> "They think they're going to get another Half Life game." <laughs> well, we are. It's just I just don't think it's going to make the deadline. Like I said, it's all for the better, right? If they're going to delay. They're going to. Game... They're going to hide a Half Life Three Easter egg in that game. People are going to lose their mind, and we're never going to see Half Life Three. <laughs> that may be possible. Yeah. Um, so all right uh, before we head out uh, Josh where can people find you you guys can find me on Instagram at josh.toki and you guys can find me on Twitch at josh underscore toki Marie you can find me on Twitter at heartfistbrain and Mm. uh, on patreon.com slash heartfistbrain as well as Twitch. You can see me stream. I do very, very, I do different cosplay with every game. So oh, check wow. out Heart Fist Brain on Twitch. Cool. It's and a then, place for 
people who are anxious or sick or sad. <laughs> it's just a fun place to hang out. Well, thanks for joining us today. And uh, thanks for you guys listening uh, to us. And uh, hopefully you have a good uh, holiday break. We'll be back again. Let us know what your favorite games of the year were mm. in the comments section below on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash Collider Games or on the Collider Factory podcast feed where we're here every single week. And so until next year, we'll see you guys later. See you guys see later. Ya. Bye.